beautiful people welcome back to actuaries in creativity and today we are shooting another video about actuarial science welcome back my actuaries and aspiring actuaries um yeah um so today we are talking about actuarial science as a stem carrier and the difference between that and other stem carriers um so yeah i want to point out that this is merely based on either experience or what i know so far so if you feel like there's something i'm missing out or there's something that people should know edit below in the comment section and we are going to dive in now so a lot of people ask me um you know why didn't you just study like computer science why didn't you just study mathematics you know and other stem carriers and i will say that firstly i just love actuarial science because it's a combination of my favorite stuff or my interest which is math uh, commercial subjects such as accounting economics uh, being able to communicate and being able to evaluate your data so yeah that's my first answer and then secondly i kind of want to dive into the logical aspects of what the actual science career entails first thing first is that with actual science even though you are required to study further to become a fully credited or qualified actuary you can basically get a really good job after graduating from college. So that's the main biggest thing also between actuarial science and a lot of other STEM careers. For example, if you studied physics, mathematics, oftentimes for you to really further in your career, you need to go to grad school, do a PhD. That's the biggest one. Do a PhD in physics or do a PhD in mathematics. Even with computer science, yes, there are a lot of uh, software engineers, there are a lot of um, computer scientists who get good jobs um, after um, graduating, but there's also this aspect that you don't really have a straight up career path where like, oh, this is the amount of exams, these are the amount of the exams that you need to pass, and if you pass this, this is how you're gonna advance in your career. Whereas with actuarial science, I wanna, start with the first thing like i said is you can graduate from college with your bachelor's and at least maybe two exams get a full-time job and getting paid pretty well while they are also paying you while giving you study hours what that means is you are being paid to study and further your career and that's something that's rare in a lot of um fields so that's very important Another thing is that this studying goes on for three, four, five years and a lot of careers, you kind of have to like invest yourself in there or like they'll maybe invest for you or they'll invest in your education, but they're not paying you as good. Whereas in the actuarial science field, you're getting both, I mean, the goodness of both worlds. So that's the first thing. And then secondly, like I said, they sort of that straight career path. Like I said, um, you know how many exams you need to pass. You kind of have an idea what exam to take next. And you know how you're progressing through your career based on the exams that you're passing. So if you are passing exams very well, you're likely to be promoted, for example. Whereas maybe if you're an engineer, you really have to prove yourself that you are bringing certain unique aspects to the industry because the technological uh, industry is very fast paced. You need to prove yourself and constantly, you know, trying to get those promotions based on only um, doing unique work um, at work. Whereas with the actuarial science, you can really do both, get a good experience or like give a good experience at work and reputation at work but also doing well in your exams and passing your exams can be a good indicator of how well you're progressing in your career so yeah that's the other thing and another third thing that i want to talk about is just like the work life balance after you finish your exams i know we go through these exams they are brutal yes they are brutal four or five years whatever but i've come across a lot of blogs that talk about was it really worth it and one thing i found from a lot of actuaries that are now qualified is that yes it was worth it mainly because even though they 
went through a lot of challenges getting through these exams the end goal was really worth it and i'm just not talking about this in terms of like the salary they they are now getting or the compensation i'm talking about this in terms of like work-life balance you know you're working a normal um job um schedule but you also um getting time to spend with your family you getting a lot of you know pay time off depending obviously also on your position in the company or your role and it, it just it just balances out very well you are able to focus on a lot of things that a lot of people cannot focus on when they are doing their exams i guess and one thing that for me i think i want to do is definitely being able to do both even when i'm pursuing my exams right now is being able to not always say no to everything that's not my exams being able to experience life as it comes but also giving my dedication and like being committed to my exam journey i think a lot of people a lot of actuaries that's what they've actually mentioned they did mention that uh for most of them the reason why the journey was worth it is because they didn't necessarily have to sacrifice their happiness to be here most of them enjoyed the journey they enjoyed taking the exams they enjoyed learning they enjoyed um having that life that's consistently pushing you to do the best you can and i guess also just making time for things that make you happy so if you love traveling still travel maybe two or three times a year you know make time for that in between your exams and when you come back give your absolute best to your exams if you like family quality time still do some of those things to just be able um to um also for other areas of your life and one thing also is just don't be afraid to say no i know it's very hard for people to like understand what you're doing some people think all you do is study some people think all you do is give excuses but don't be afraid to say no to certain stuff whether it's family friends or anything that's maybe just conflicting so much with your schedule you know also in case you do say yes to some of those things don't feel too bad about it just get yourself up and give yourself enough time to catch up on your work so that's i guess my advice but i'm also not a qualified actuary yet this is just what i think would work or works and i hope that maybe actuaries can you know comment or talk about why the journey was worth it for them but for me right now i have just started as an analyst but i'm enjoying every aspect of it or like i guess the journey so far and hope it continues being fruitful continues being um a very valuable experience to my life so thank you guys for watching and see you again next time comment like share these videos share this channel and follow me on my socials thank you and see you next time